Next, we continue our look at the history of the Chinese in America on a walking tour through the streets of San Francisco's Chinatown. This is the third of a three-part series with historian and storyteller Charlie Chin. All right, we'll gather in here. We're taking a look around. There are several things to see here. Amongst them, of course, as you look around in this direction, there is a building over there called the East-West Bank. You notice that it has a Chinese-style roof. Uh, the building has been there since the turn of the 1900s. Yes. What happened was, in the 1890s, the practice, work practice was, that if somebody wanted contracted Chinese labor, they would run from Market Street down here and then go to a building here where they contacted a Chinese uh, labor contractor. He would send for some people, they would join the runner, and then they would go all the way back to Market Street. So somebody had a bright idea. There's a new thing called the telephone. Why don't we put a telephone in, in this building, and then we'll just call and say, send 20 men, we're going to go down to San Jose. So they did. Chinese merchants saw it and thought it was a great idea, and everybody wanted one immediately. The result was Chinatown had its own telephone exchange. Take a look, look, it's over here. That, right here. Chinatown Telephone Exchange began, and the reason why uh, it was important was at that time, when you picked up the phone, you picked up the phone and said, hello, operator, may I have this number? And so for the businessmen of Chinatown, they had to ask in Cantonese, usually, or one of its sub-dialects, and they needed somebody at the other end of the line who could answer them. Now, the system was very good. The women who worked at this uh, facility considered a very important job because it was one of the few respectable jobs a woman could do outside of the home. Uh, it was so important, some of the women trained their eldest daughters to take over when they retired because it was a very important job. But in 1949, something happened. Now, for people who are under a certain age, I have to explain it in detail. In 1949, the rotary dial system was introduced. For people who are under 30, they have no idea what that is. It's that circular disc with holes in it and the alphabet. You put your finger in and you turn it and it click, click, click turns around. After a little while. After a little while. Well, eventually what happened was the building was leased onto a bank and it continues to be uh, another bank, the East West Bank. But it played a very important role in Chinatown's business life in the uh, early part of the 20th century. This is the third of a three-part series on the Chinese in America with historian and storyteller Charlie Chin. You can view this and other American artifacts at our website, cspan.org history.